Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an Android app using ChatGPT. You don't need to code anything. You just follow my video and you will able to create an Android application for free in minutes using ChatGPT. So for that, you need to search on Google, which is ChatGPT Mahesh Technicals. I return a great article for you and whatever resources I'm going to use in this video, all resources available on my article. Thick. Okay. So first of all, you need to visit that article. So first you need to understand why we need to create an Android app using chat GPT because you don't need to code. Okay. Chat GPT give you all code and you just need to test that code and if it works then you can create an android app okay so first of all you need to install one application called spck editor why we need to install that because we need to test the code okay this is the html css and js editor where we can test our code okay so first of all install spck editor on your android phones after that you need to create your application using chat gpt Okay, so first of all, we need to create a code which is working perfectly so we can create an Android app from that. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand wha what app you want to make, which app you want to make. So, right, uh, you can ask ChatGPT to give us suggestions, but I'm going to use a simple application called To Do Application, To Do List, or a Notes app, Notes Taking application. Okay, so I'm going to write a prompt which is write a HTML, CSS and JS code to build to do application which have edit and delete functionalities so we can easily edit our task or delete our task uh, with a responsive design and also when we refresh our page our data not lost. Okay, so I'm going to write that type of prompt prompt here so let me check if it is working for us or not so just click on it and you can see chat gpt giving us a html css and javascript code here okay so before we build an app first of all we need to test our code is working actually or not so for that we are installed spck editor right so open spck editor application then click here and click on create project now select html then enter project name i'm going to write to do app then click on create button now you can see we have three files here which is index.html style.css and main.js okay so here we are going to paste our code which is generated from our chat gpt so first of all just copy html code from here then go to index.html then remove the present code and paste our new code here then click on plus icon then click on format now you can see here script.js but our file name is main.js right so we are going to change script to main similarly you can see styles.css but our file name is style.css so remove that extra s from here okay now go and copy next code which is css code so just copy that code then go here and click on style.css remove present code here and then paste our new code then click on format okay now one more code remaining which is javascript so just copy that javascript code come here go main.js and remove present code and paste our new code here okay now you have play button now click on that play button and you can see our application is ready. Let me test it is actually working or not. 
so just add and you can see it is added successfully we have edit and delete buttons as well let me clear click on edit and let me check edit functionality working or not so let me update our text and click on edit button again and you can see our text is updated now click on delete button let me check delete working or not and yes delete also working let me open browser chrome browser and you can see let me add one more note and let me check our ui okay so our ui is not good i want edit and delete button in right side and note in left side okay so we, we can modify that don't worry so for that we again go to chat gpt and give a prompt to fix that issue so just go here and write please fix the edit and delete buttons like this so i'm going to write prompt like this and it will give you html and javascript but i want full code so i'm going to type give me a full code so it will give you full code which is modified okay so we have html css and javascript code again so just go here and go to index.html and paste our new modified html from here okay again you can see script.js so remove script and type main.js okay then styles.css so remove extra s from here that's it so our html is ready now go to our css code so copy that css code and go here and go to style.css remove all this code from here then paste our modified code that's it now copy our new js code from here now go to main.js then remove all of these then paste here our modified code then format and let me check our coding code is working or not so let me add you can see it is already working but let me check once again so for that you can see uh, whenever i refresh the page our data not going lost so it is also a great functionality so you can see now edit and delete buttons are now on the right side and note on the left side so now our ui is looking good edit functionality delete functionality also working perfectly so with this way you can create an application using chat gpt our code is successfully working right now so now we are going to download that code on our android phone okay so let me check all of all functions are working so now go to your spck editor okay here now download all the three files okay you can see index main.js style.css download that so just click on that three option then click on download similarly you can download all the two files okay all the three files you need to download after downloading go to your file manager go to your internal storage go to download folder and you will see all the downloaded files are present here so just select all the three files and you can move wherever you want but i'm going to create a folder called code folder and i'm going to paste that three files in my code folder okay so just click on folder and create a folder name code and you can see code folder is created now paste the three files here okay so it is organized now now our application is right now on local it is not present online for everyone so we are going to create a free website for our application so everyone can access that application wherever okay everywhere so for that we are going to use github so go to github.com and create your account i have an account already so just create your account then you will see like this so go here and click on plus icon then click on new repository make sure to create your account otherwise you will not able to do these things so in the repository name you can type to do app whatever you want you can type then tick mark on add readme file that's it 
then click on create repository button now you can see your blank repository is created now we are going to upload our three files here so for that just click on plus icon then click on upload files then choose from computer go to internal storage download folder code folder and upload these three files select all and select and you can see all files are uploaded now click on commit changes it is recommended okay so click on commit changes now you can see our three files are present now with these three files we can create a website okay after website we can create our android app okay so wait now click on settings icon here then go to pages now in the branch section select main then click on save button okay now click on your repository name on the top here now until you see deployment option here on the right side you need to refresh the page or you can wait 5 to 10 minutes it will automatically appear okay now you can see deployments are showing but it is still processing so just one more refresh and you can see our pages is created now click on deployments now here are you have our website url you just just copy that url and click on that url you can see your application is now online okay guys so where if you want to share this website with your friends so you can share this url to your friends so they can access your application which is made by chat gpt okay so now we are going to convert our web app web app to android app so how you can do that you need to go to this website which is applifix applix website go here then click on that menu and create account so first of all you need to create an account to create android app okay so just create your account i have already created so i'm going to click on that website again visit website and go here account you can see then click on profile icon click on my apps now here you have create an app button so just go here and paste your web address so i'm going to copy that website address which is my application website address just paste here now in the app name type to do app or whatever you want you can type now click on create app that's it now select free plan now go to menus then app info now here asking for app logo so let me create a logo for that we are going to use canva so just open then click on plus icon then click on custom size here type 512 and 512 height and width then create now press back okay now our layout is ready so now go to shapes and select any shape from here adjust according to you so like this so now let me change background color now we need to add one logo here so go to element section again and search list and go here and let me find one logo which is suitable for me so let me check okay so this one is good so i'm going to select this one and adjust according to your circle okay so manage according to you now the background is not looking good so let me change you can design your logo according to you okay guys so i am going to design fast so this one is looking good okay 
so now click on that button now click on download now click on trans transparent background and then create your logo that's it you can see our logo is created you can see that you have the logo now go to your again now select your logo and adjust according to you how you how logo you want to your application logo so i'm going to select properly you can adjust using below slider okay guys that's it now click on save changes or you can change package name as well whatever you want you can write but make sure your package name is in the small letters okay now click on save changes like this our logo is set successfully now click on splash screen you can change splash screen as well so just select our logo here as well okay now you can scroll down you can save the changes if you want okay you can see this type of look you see so you can change modify some more changes here okay you can customize everything now go to build and download let's build our application now click on build app build app okay so it will take 10 5 to 10 minutes so wait i'm going uh, let's coming back okay you can see our app is ready after 10 minutes so just download the apk you can share this apk with your friends and they can install your application okay so just install this application you can see our logo is present app name is present properly okay so let me show you our application is installed successfully you can see this is our application just open that application you can see splash screen or not showing our logo because we not save that changes okay so you can save the changes you will see your splash screen okay so let me check our application is working or not you can see task is added successfully we can edit our task you can see that and we can delete task as well so our application is successfully working without any error so with this way you can easily create an application which is android application using chat gpt uh, zero lines of codes and we have this application so it is very powerful ai so with this way you can easily create your application you can place ads and you can publish that application on google play store as well and earn money as well okay so you can follow this article and you will able to create an android application using chat gpt in some minutes okay so with this way you can easily create an android application using chat gpt so we will meet in the next video guys so thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video